just when you thought a pod system couldn't get any better. It did. What's going on folks? ST here and today we are going to be looking at the first pod system with the DNA chip. Today we are going to be looking at the Orion from Lost Vape. This one was sent to me for the purpose of this review. So let's go down, see what's going to come in the box, look at the device, come back up, vape on it, give you my final thoughts. So let's go down and take a look at it. All right, so here is the box that mine came in. Uh, your packaging might look a little different. There you go. Now let's see what you're gonna get inside the box. So of course, you're gonna get the device itself, a USB charging cable and firmware cable, a user manual, some guidance information, and a warranty registration card. Also, you are going to get this lanyard so you can carry your device around for those of y'all that like that so let's take a look at this device so this is the first pod system to incorporate a DNA chip it has the DNA go chipset in it it does have two different style pods it goes to this so let's go ahead and take a look at the pod itself. The pods are going to come in a 0.5 or a 0.25 in stainless steel. Of course, I have not used this one yet. The pod itself is one whole set up here. So the drip tip itself is stationary. It does not come off. It is a fixed drip tip on there there is your airflow as you can see it is adjustable there and typically when I've been running mine I keep mine at the point of where it looks completely shut off almost I love that restricted hit on there also it is a top fill so you just unscrew this little cap put your juice in right there it does hold two mils of juice at least that's what they state you can get a little bit more in there than that it's got this tinted window which is hard to see on camera but it'll show you your level of where you're at with this again real hard to pick up on camera but if you actually had it you could see through there pretty decent to see where your juice level is at so that is the pod the 0.5 is what I have used on this one, and this is the one I really like. So, the device itself, pretty interesting here. So, you can see this is the black with the carbon fiber inlays here. This thing is just built solid. I love the way it feels. Of course, this is going to be your relax. Uh, latch release excuse me right there for your pod I'll show you how to insert that here in just a second that is your fire button also five clicks on five clicks off turns it off and on and this dial right here controls the settings you want to be in so if you want to be in a low medium or high setting uh, each pod is set up for just a little different wattage to it and again you can go into eScribe and adjust on just how you want this to hit also here at the bottom you do have this little tab that pulls out for your USB connection right there that's also where you would want to plug in for your eScribe got a little venting here on the bottom So, let's go ahead and attach the pod that I have been using. So, let's go with the 0.5. No, 
let me get myself correct on here. So what you want to do is you want to get this piece started first back here and then you can just push it on in till you hear it click or if it's easier just hold that latch down and then push up and it'll lock in like that also whichever way typically I hold this down but I really haven't been taking the pod in and out for any reason because I've been using this one pod so again five clicks turns the device on five click turns it off so here is a cool feature with this device so here are three different settings now again my camera might not pick this up all this well first of all let me show you on the user manual first so the user manual itself goes into depth pretty good on this device it gives you all your information there Also, you can see it does have a 950 milliamp battery in it. Also, your pods are going to be color coded. So your red is going to be the 0.25s and the greens are going to be the 0.5 to help you remember there. And of course, it just kind of walks you through some of the stuff I just showed you. But here is the most important information. So on your check battery, it will give you these different color variations to show you where battery life is left on this one. As you can see, you'll hit the firing button twice. Now I do this, you gotta do it quick. Now you can see I'm hitting in the green which means I'm running between 70 to 95% on there. Sometimes I've noticed in clicking this, checking battery life, it's like I've had to click it a couple times and it winds up where I've accidentally clicked it five times to turn it off. So that can be a little bothersome at times, but not really big deal at all. Also on your power levels, you can see a white for low, blue for medium and red for high. Now, this chip in here will detect whether or not you're running the 0.5 or the 0.25. So on the 0.25, your wattage is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be pushing a little bit more opposed to the 0.5, which that's the one I've really been enjoying. Uh, and if you want to set your adjustments for that, all you have to do is just click this bottom button. As you can see, I've got it in the red. There's the white and there's the blue. Again, the camera is not doing so much justice for color, but I keep it on the highest strength on the 0.5. Now, this also incorporates the replay mode like you've heard on the 250C. So if you find that perfect hit that you are enjoying on this device, say like, hey, I just took a hit, if you want to have that hit again, all you would need to do is just hold this button down. And when it goes green, you are in replay mode. So it will replay that hit every time now until you either turn it off or change it up. So pretty cool feature on there. Got to say, I really do like that. Again, though, I really have not been using the replay mode a lot on this either. I just like it simple. And for what it is, again, highest uh, level on a 0.5 with this one has been doing wonders for me. So, again, a lot of different variations you can do on this one. Again, you know, going into eScribe, uh, you can really change some stuff up. You can add additional profiles, which is also going to give you additional colors so you can keep up with what you're doing. And again, like I said before, it will keep up if you're using the 0.5 or the 0.25.
So definitely read this manual, look it over, and it's got a lot of good information in there. Of course, the max wattage on this is 30, and you can do a 40 watt peak. Now I will state this, you have to go into eScribe to actually set that up. But here's the thing, if you are setting that type of wattage up with this battery level, you're not gonna get much out of this device and you're pretty much gonna be shooting for a direct lung. I even know that this system will do it. I don't really wanna sit here and, and, just, and tell you hey, this is what it's for. To me, it's a pod system and it should be used like a pod system. Mouth alone, very restricted, but you do have the capabilities of doing other stuff with it. Of course, you're also gonna have this guidance information. Gives you a little bit of breaking in the coil, how to prime, all that good stuff there, replay mode, so. A lot of good literature on it. Also, again, there is your registration card. So, all in all, folks, this thing has pretty much got everything you'd want in a pod system. And the size of it, just so small. It's hard to believe that they got all that in there, but pretty nice. Well, folks, let's go back up top, vape on this, and I will give you my final thoughts. All right, and we are back. Let me get a hit on this thing. Ooh, nice and smooth. So, let's dive into pros and cons on it. All I've got is pros for this one. I really have been enjoying this device right here. I've got to say, the only thing, again, with the pod system that I enjoy more that this one does not have. I love auto draw on pod systems. I don't really like hitting any buttons. But this one I'm gonna give the exception to. And it's all because of button placement on it. Being on the side right there and my finger being right there the way I hit on this, I mean, it actually works out pretty good. So I don't mind it on this device. So, Again, that's just a preference with me, so I don't really want to strike that as a con. But this thing's got a lot of pros on it. First of all, for those that enjoy going into eScribe, messing around, you know, this is going to be one of those devices that's pretty cool to tinker around with. You can go in there, you can change the profiles up, you know, add some stuff onto it, however you want to go with it. Now, straight out of the box, the profiles that they have dialed in on it, I enjoy. I have not even messed with it. I don't want more wattage out of this. The settings they have it at is what I enjoy out of a pod system. I'm not looking for a miniature direct lung device. I'm not looking for it. If I'm going to direct lung, I'm going to use my big boy toys. So again, for a pod system, I love that really restrictive hit on it. And like I said, the way they've got it dialed in, it's perfect for me. So straight out of the box, most people would say, or people that are gonna get this, I think will really enjoy it without even going into eScribe. So, but if you're curious about eScribe and you wanna see an awesome tutorial, go over there and check Mike Vape's video out. He did a great tutorial on this and walk you through it. So go check that one out. But all in all, like I said, I, I haven't had any complaints out of this one. Not any pod systems I know of that I can get damn near a month out of the pod. Uh, now I've been strictly using the point fives. I, the 0.25, I'm not even interested in using because I don't want I don't want more out of it. The 0.5 is like dialed in perfect for me. And I know I keep saying dialed in, but for this particular device, that that pod right there is the way I like it. So 0.5, I think most people that enjoy pod systems the way I enjoy them are really gonna wanna use that particular pod. Uh, 
juice capacity, you know, they state two mils, but uh, it looks like you can get a little bit more out of it than that. You can clearly see when your juice level is getting low on it, even though it's kind of hard to see on camera, but when you're actually looking at it, you can see it just perfect. So, um, and just like I said, it, it's just a great little system there. I've really been enjoying it. Of course, too, you know, like on my airflow, I showed you, I keep mine turned just where you can barely see it open on it. Cause again, I love that real restrictive hit I get off of it. So ask yourself, where can I get them? You know what? I'm sorry to tell y'all two places that I trust right now that I would send you to either myfreedomsmokes.com or vapor DNA. Both at the moment are sold out. Uh, they are going for $64 and 99 cents. The pod prices are going to vary on some of these sites. So again, you're going to probably want to shop it around a little bit. Uh, maybe pick your device up here, pick the pods up there, you know, just depending on what you want to do, unless you get it all from one place. So again, this one is definitely ranked up there high. I would highly suggest this one to anybody. And two, for the people that are saying, well, $64 for a pod system, I know it sounds expensive, but you gotta look at it like this. For a lot of the pod systems I typically use, pods are not lasting near as long as what they last in this. And by the time you keep buying replacement pods or the pod system itself, the battery just goes out. I mean, you do the math on it. You can equal up to the price of this pretty quick, and this one's gonna come out in the long run. Now, how long is this particular device going to last? I don't know. I don't think anybody knows because it is a new device, so only time will tell. But I will say this, if I can get at least, at least a good year out of this, I feel that's money well spent on it, so. But that's how the vaping game goes. So a lot of products out there, you know, I've been amazed to see the, the lifetime that folks are getting out of some of these devices. But again, I hope this is another one that holds true and, you know, keeps going for a long, long time. But all right, well, I have rambled enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna get out of here, I got more to do. I'm gonna try to blow a big cloud on this like I typically do when I leave, but I don't think I can gain that. Eh, baby cloud. Y'all have a good one, I'm out of here, peace.